Are you ready to take your PLC programming, DCS programming and SCADA programming skills to the next level? In this video, we are going to talk about 7 exciting ways that can help you get ready because we are going to dive into some seriously awesome tips in this video. Before we start this video, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing this YouTube channel, turn your notification on so that you don't miss our future content. Let's start today's video. If you wanna excel in any field, foundation is very, very important. Like other fields, for sure, PLC and DCS and SCADA programming also require strong foundation. You need to understand instrumentations, inputs and outputs. You need to understand the process, how process works. Because if you don't know the process, how you can control that process. So that's why it's important to understand instrumentation, input and outputs, wiring, field wirings as well. You need to understand the hardware, how the hardware of a PLC looks like. And once you are done with these basics, then you have to get in a PLC programming software. For instance, if you want to start learning PLC Siemens, you wanted to learn Sematic Manager, which is for S7, 300 and 400 PLC, you need to have a software first of all. Once you have a software, you have to start learning into the foundations. What are the instructions available? You have to start with the digital, and then move into analog. Show patience. Learning automation is a process that requires careful consideration. You cannot jump here and there. It's very important to master one thing at one time and then jump into the next topic. So step-by-step -step approach is very important for you. And once you start learning PLC programming, you need to choose one language because you know that PLC can be programmed with the letter, FPD, STL. You have to choose one programming language and make yourself comfortable and master of that and then jump into the next one. Once you know all the instructions, next step is to utilize these instructions to create small projects. You can start learning with some examples that can be simulated with the help of a simulators. Once you know one PLC brand, you can definitely get into some other brands. You can, once you know one specific software, you can start learning another one as well. Once you are comfortable with the PLC portion and you are confident that you can work on any brand, now is the time you can move on to HMI. In HMI, you got in different vendors as well. You have to pick up one and start mastering yourself in that. Understand PLC to HMI communication, understand how to create trends, how to create alarms, how to create some simple graphics. Once you're done with it, next step is to learn SCADA. And in SCADA, you got in different softwares like Wonderware, Aviva, Schneider Electric have Indosoft Web Studio as well. You have to choose one SCADA software and make yourself comfortable and master of that. Once you're done with the SCADA, then you can definitely dive into a DCS side, which is very important. So you have to start learning with any DCS brands, like you can start with Emerson like Delta V. You can also pick up ABB softwares like ABB have Freelance 800, 900, it have 800 access, so you can choose anyone. Once you know the DCS, then you can dive into OT cybersecurity, industrial IoT, how you connect your plant control system to the cloud. These sort of things are very, very important for you. If you still have a courage and determination and time, you can definitely move on to these things as well. If you're the one thinking about that, how I can learn PLC, DCS, KDA, HMI, industrial IoT, OT cybersecurity, and everything in, like everything, how it is possible. You might be thinking about that. I'm a very simple person like you. I'm not very quick. I'm not that kind of a person who can learn the things easily. I'm telling you quite frankly, I have put in a lot of energy to learn each, every technology one by one. But one thing I can tell you that if I can learn for sure, every one of you, yes, I'm talking to you. You can also learn PLC, DCS, KEDA and HMI, everything industrial IoT, cybersecurity. I do have experience working with PLCs, DCS systems, SCADA systems, HMI systems, industrial IoT, connectivity piece, industrial networking, OT cybersecurity. If I can do that, I can bet you that you can do that. It's just a matter of you should have a positive vibes. That's the key. Trust on your abilities. At the start, it would look very, very difficult for you. For sure, there's a process. Once you learn one thing, then you will gain a confidence to learn the next thing. If you just start thinking that I cannot learn that everything by, I cannot learn everything for sure. You cannot start even a single thing. So that's very important that you have to master all these technologies and become a professional and get comfortable slowly and gradually with all these technologies. So once you are done with this learning curve, 
Now is the time to grab an opportunity. Now is the time to work on real projects. And that's where the problem is. Most of the people don't get the chance over there to work into industrial automation projects after getting the trainings because everybody wanted to get a job right away. What I would suggest you try to get in some internship, training opportunity. You can also look for the job without pay. Showcase your skills and inform the employer that you are available to work free of cost and you got the right skills to contribute. Trust me, nothing can beat the real world experience where you are working on real projects on a process industry where you are actually controlling something and you can see actually the control happening in front of you. So nothing can beat that feeling. You can convert your internship or training opportunity or free of cost job into a permanent role after showcasing the skill set. Remember one thing, PLC, DCS and SCADA field is evolving every day. PLC, DCS and SCADA field is constantly evolving. That's why it's very important for you to stay updated with the latest development and, and advancements. Stay plugged in with industry publications, attend webinars and conferences to understand what's new in that field. Constantly, constantly upgrade your skills with new certifications and training opportunities that are available online. Another very important thing is collaborate. That's one of the key thing. Like you have to collaborate with other engineers, senior engineers or your coworkers or your coworkers to do some projects. Once you're working in a team, you would learn automation very fast. Another very important thing is stay connected with the masterminds. Stay connected with those people who are expert in that domain. Try to get a mentorship with them if possible. If you cannot afford mentorship, you need to stay connected with them. Learn from their experiences. Ask them questions like how they become so successful, how they learn everything. For sure, they would definitely tell you the hacks to become a PLC, DCS and SCADA programmer very quickly. Another very important thing is learn from your mistakes. If you're doing something wrong, for sure we all do mistakes. It's very important to take a note and make sure that you don't repeat the mistakes. Tools like ChatGPT and other tools can help you to quickly learn automation. That's all for today. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Until next video, take care and bye-bye.